vehicles. Maintenance costs are threatening the motorcycle fleet of the Fort Wayne Police Department. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble joins us live now with this story from police headquarters on Creighton Avenue. Well, Mark and Heather, the vehicle fleet for the Fort Wayne Police Department consists of hundreds of cars, some scooters, and also eight motorcycles. But I did talk with uh, Police Chief R Rusty York today, and he told me that this past season could be the last season for those motorcycles. He says those bikes are old, they're increasingly expensive, and he actually says they're getting impractical. Meet Officer Mark Louder. I was canine before this. He subscribes to the philosophy, if you get a job you love, you'll never work a single day. When a motorcycle position opened up, that's all I was waiting for. Since he hopped on the bike that now carries his name, he says he hasn't hair. worked a day. You know, I love working first shift, southeast, motorcycle. But now Louder's 99 Harley Davidson could be retired, along with the seven others that make up the Fort Wayne Police motorcycle fleet. They've all seen better days and are in need of major upgrades. Police Chief Rusty York. We have eight of them. We're talking about probably 15, at least $15,000 a piece. The money for replacements is money the department doesn't have. And to meet a tight budget, the bike seems to be a likely candidate for cuts. So much of our paperwork is, is electronic anymore. Even our accident reports are all done on a computer which you know, can't be done on a motorcycle. The list of pros and cons will be considered. Freeze up normal officers on the street to not have to do accidents. Repair costs have gone up considerably. I have better maneuverability. Technology has changed what officers do. The biggest benefit to this bike, gas mileage. If the decision is made to do away with motorcycles, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll miss them too. Officer Louder knows his bike has a shaky future. I'm devastated, to be honest with you. But he's keeping his fingers crossed that his job won't become work. Somebody please help me save the job that I love. The department is in talks with a local dealership. They are going to explore all the options they can think of to try to continue the fleet. The chief expects to make a decision over the winter. Reporting live at police headquarters, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.